JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for October the 21st. I am Haralambos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD. I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire, to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded lower against all but one of the other major currencies on Wednesday and during the Asian se session Thursday. It lost the most ground uh, versus CHF and JPY, while the only currency against um, against which it did not uh, lose ground was, uh, was the Euro. In other words, Euro dollar was found uh, virtually unchanged uh, this morning. Now, the fact that uh, the US dollar continues to broadly, weaken, uh, 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 to broadly weaken against the majors suggests that uh, the financial world continue trading, um, continue trading in a risk-on uh, risk fashion. However, the strengthening of the safe haven is again and frank point otherwise. Therefore, in order to clear things up with regards to the broader market sentiment, we prefer to turn our gaze to the equity world. Now here, major event US indices were higher or unchanged, but the picture changed during the Asian trading today. Japan's Nikkei 225 lost uh, uh, nearly 1.9%, uh, and although China's Shanghai Composite gained, uh, Hong Kong's Hang Seng and South Korea's K KOSPI slid. It seems that uh, better than expected earnings continue to be the main driver uh, for the markets. Yes, they may not be, they may not point to a skyrocketing global economy, but let's not forget that entering the season, the bar was very low and thus anything better than what was anticipated is happy music to investors' ears. So, if uh, this is the case, what uh, was the reason for the softening in appetite uh, during the Asian trading today? Maybe that was due to Evergrande's failure to seal a deal on selling a 2.6 billion US dollars stake in its property services uh, unit. Yet, China's Shanghai Composite was the only index in positive territory. And this may be due to the property giant securing an extension of more than three months on an on defaulted bond, or uh, or due to Chinese officials reassuring investors that overall uh, risks in the property market are controllable. Now, with long-dated yields around the globe also rising, it seems that investors have not scaled back their tightening bets, despite increasing, the, increasing their uh, risk exposure lately. According to the Fed Fund Futures, they are anticipating uh, an interest rate hike to be delivered in the last quarter of 2022. A while ago, such a move was expected in the first three months of 2023. That said, there are other major central banks which have already hit the, the hike button, like the RBNZ, and others which are expected to do it uh, later this year, like the Bank of England. So, we would expect the US dollar to continue underperforming against the Kiwi and uh, the British pound, especially if sentiment remains supported uh, for a while more. Now, as uh, for today's events, the only releases worth mentioning are the US existing home sales for September, with expectations pointing to a small increase, and the initial jobless claims for last week, which are forecast to have also increased fractionally. We, we, also, have, um, we also have two speakers on today's agenda, and those are Fed Board Governor Christopher Waller and RBA Governor Philip Lowe. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week uh, much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. 
you can find the link in the description below so goodbye have a great day and i'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow jft just fair and direct